Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture of the flow chart to find the odd numbers between 1 to n. So we have to draw a flow chart to find the odd numbers between 1 to n. n is a range which is given by the user. Okay. If n is 100, we have to find the odd numbers between 1 to 100. n is 1000, we have to find the odd numbers between 1 to 1000 n is 5125, we have to find the odd numbers between the 1 to 5125. How to find an odd number? We have to perform a modular division by 2. All the odd numbers will return the value 1. For example, when you are performing a modular division by 2, we are having a 3 modulo 2 which is equal to 1. Okay. If 153 modulo 2, remainder is 1. 15553 modulo 2 the remainder equal to 1 okay so all this okay the values okay odd numbers will return the value 1 when when we are performing a modulo division by 2 so we have to use this logic okay to draw the flow chart okay to find the numbers odd numbers between 1 to n okay Fine. Okay. Now we will draw the flow chart. Okay. So now start symbol. Start. Okay. This is start of the flow chart. Next input. I have to get the input n. input input n this is my input okay input n i am obtaining a input range okay i will use a small n okay from the user next we need a, a loop counter variable the loop counter variable i am if i have to set the loop counter variable i which is equal to 1 i am setting the loop counter variable Okay, set set i equal to one. Set i equal to one. So I am setting my loop counter variable i equal to one. Next, I am checking. Then I have to write the loop to check whether uh, the values are between one to n. So for this, I am using a decimal symbol. Using a decimal symbol, okay. If i greater than the value n, okay. If the value of i which is greater than n, if it is yes, if it is yes, so what I am doing, okay. If it is yes means uh, then I, the flow will go to the end of the flow chart, okay. So we, we don't know where the stop symbol is coming. That's why what I am doing, I am leave leave it as it is now. Okay, then I will connect it with the stop symbol, end of the flow chart. Okay, if i value greater than that means what happened? The i value exceeds n means it is out of range between 1 to n. So for a yes, okay, I didn't finish the finish it here. I will uh, finish it at the end of the flow chart. Okay. If it is no, if it is no, so what I am doing, I am checking. I am checking if i modulo 2 equal to 1. Okay. i modulo 2 equal to 1 means okay, it is a what is it? It is a odd number. Okay. In such a case, if it is yes means if it is yes means what I am doing, I am printing the i. Yes means I am printing the i. Print i. Okay, printing the value of i. So next, what I am doing? I am incrementing it. 
ओके ईक्वल टू ई प्लस वन ऐम इंक्रीमेंटिंग इट आफ्टर पटिंग दि ई ऐम इंक्रीमेंटिंग इट अंड कनेक्ट इट बैक टू दि ओके दूप ओके चेकिंग दि कनेक्टिंग बैक बैक टू दि लूप ओके सारी I am connecting back to the loop. Okay, so where I am connecting back to the loop here. Okay, incrementing I am checking again. I is within the range. Okay, if I modulo two equal to one, I am printing I and incrementing I, connecting back it to the loop by incremented value of I and check I greater than n. Okay, then it will again perform I modulo two equal to one. Okay, if I modulo two, which is not equal to one, what I am doing? I am simply not printing the value because it is even number. I modulo two not equal to one means even number. So in this case, I will increment the value of I and again connect it. Okay, back to the loop. Okay, so see how it is working. For example, I am having a I equal to one to five. Okay, what it will do? Okay, first it will check one greater than. Okay, n value is five. What it loop will do? N greater than five. Okay, no. Then it will increment n modulo one modulo two. It will print the value one. It will print the value and increment the value and check it it now. Okay. Likewise, okay, up to five the loop will go. If it is six means i greater than n, it will connect it to the end of the flow chart. Okay, end of the flow chart is our stop symbol. Stop. Okay. So what I am doing? I am connect this to the. End of the flow chart. This is my stop symbol. Okay, now we will check. I am giving the value n equal to five. Okay, the loop will go one to five. If i equal to one, i equal to one. So we will check the output. Okay, what will happen? I equal to one. We set i equal to one. I greater than n. Okay, I one greater than n equal to false. It will come here. One modulo two. For example, one modulo two. It will return the value one because one is lesser than two. Okay, like three modulo four return three, and uh, two modulo six return two. If the one is lesser than two, that will return the value one. Okay, it will return the value one. In such a case, it will print the value one. Okay, now print the value one. Then what will happen? I equal to I plus one. I equal to i plus one. So now i i is become two now. I is become two. Okay, now what will do? It will check two greater than five. It is no because two is not greater than five. Again, uh, two modulo two equal to zero. Two modulo two equal to zero. Here it is no. Then what will happen? Simply the i value. It will not print the value. Simply the i value will get increased. Now i equal to three. Okay. Again it will go to the loop. It will check three. Greater than five? No. Okay, it will check three modulo two. Okay, it will check again three modulo two equal to one. So here three modulo two equal to one. Okay, so what it will do? Okay, yes. Okay, three modulo two equal to one. It will print the value of five. So three will get printed. Then i equal to i plus one. I is become four now. Okay, four greater than five? No. Again, the four modulo two equal to zero. Okay, it's no. Simply increase the value of i. So i is become five now. Okay, i is become five. Five greater than five now. Five equal to equal to five. Five is not greater than five. So in this case, what will happen? Five mod law two to check. Five mod law two equal to one. It will print the value five. Okay. Now i equal to i plus one. I is become six now. So what will happen? Six greater than five. Yes. the flow chart will come to the stop okay the flow chart will end up okay that's it this is the flow chart to find the odd numbers between 1 to n okay that's it thanks for watching this video do set to subscribe my channel kindly subscribe to my channel for the forthcoming videos and follow ups thank you